Hi guys, so we wanted to show you a video after your RV has been set up of what comes included with the rental. That way you know and you don't overpack. I've done that before. Um, so I want to make sure that I do a, a little walkthrough. That way you know what's, what's in the RV. Okay? Um, so once your power is on, once your AC is on, um, AC, very easy, cool, fan off. Um, just really quickly, make sure that the um, AC is turned off before you turn on and off the main power. That helps it last longer um, and it will be, we will appreciate it. Um, okay, so AC is on, um, main lights right here. Once you are set up, you want to make sure that your power step, the power step is essentially this button right here. You want to make sure that you leave it off, okay? Because if not, even say that you're parked for a whole week at a campsite, you want to make sure that it's not opening and closing every time you open the door. It doesn't open fast enough, so you could easily fall before, you know, there's a step there. So. With the power step on, when I open, it's always going to do that. Okay, but once you're already set up, you're gonna stay in the same place for a couple of days, then you can turn it off and it will just stay, the step will stay in place, okay? Um, exterior lights, that's the third button here. You wanna make sure that obviously at night um, it's on, but during the day, um, please remember to turn it off. Um, okay, so once your slide one and slide two are already extended, then you're essentially good to go. This is your generator. If you need to ever be on the generator, start, stop, start, you press for 10 seconds, then you let go. We prefer no dry camping, so there shouldn't be a reason why you would need to use the generator, but emergencies um, always come up. So if you ever need to use it, just know that press start, 10 seconds, let go. If it did, if it did not turn on the first time, then you're gonna try it again for another 10 seconds, okay? The generator has a time, so it will count how long, obviously it's not on right now, but it will count how long um, you're using the generator. Um, like I said, try to refrain from using it. Um, if you're ever in need, like you're in on the road and you're in need of using um, water that's in the RV tank, the fresh water tank, you're gonna turn on the water pump, okay? We're gonna show you additional settings outside later in another video, but this is where you would turn it on, okay? Uh, water heater, right before you take a shower. Um, you're gonna do electric, um, preferably, because it works better and it's faster. Um, and electric, it's gonna take a little bit, you're gonna do about 15 to 20 minutes before you take a shower, you wanna turn it on. Just remember, when you have your water heater, your AC and say that you use the microwave, the breaker at the campsite might go off and it might be triggered. So you wanna make sure that you are careful when your water heater is on. Don't have it on at all times because that's gonna happen. Um, so you wanna make sure you have it off, only turn it on when you need it and then turn it back, right back off. Okay, so next up I wanna show you what comes with the RV. First of all, there's lights everywhere that you can turn on. Right there, there's another light. Lights here. You also have your exhaust fan. I'm gonna turn it off because it does get loud. And you have this light over the sink. Okay, we always include, with every rental, you have your dish um, cloth, you have um, a new sponge for every single rental, and then you have some toiletries, okay? Now the compartments, everything is super organized and labeled. This is the basket for all the exterior stuff. So you have um, some mosquito repellent candles, bug spray, uh, fire starters, you know, you name it. You have your uh, lighters over here. These are your flashlights. There's a couple of flashlights in there. These are some reusable bags. Your medical basket has a um, pressure monitor. 
Uh, and it also has your first aid um, kit with you know, anything you may need for emergencies in there. You also have some spare batteries you can take from this if you need. Um, if you buy any and do a new trip and you have any leftovers, you can put them there as well. You wanna make this um, as close to possible, you know, how it would feel if it was your own RV or your own home. Next we have, I'm gonna get up here. Okay, we have a Super Nintendo. And this comes preloaded with all the old games. If you're a 90s baby or <laughs> um, you'll remember. We also have this. A lot of times if you have Netflix um, or any downloaded movies on your, on your phone, you can hook up your iPhone. And um, it gets connected to the HDMI. And that way you'll be able to watch your TVs, um, sorry, your movies on, on the TV over there. Um, so that goes back. We also have a DVD collection. If you have little kids, there's Coco Melon and stuff for little little kids. There's uh, family movies, um, and then along you know other classics as well. So that let's put back. There are two DVD players. One here, one in the main bedroom. And this one has um, a remote right here. And you have your TV that you can control over there. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna open up these compartments. You have your miscellaneous um, category, which is essentially you don't really need many things from here, but um, if you need a um, an extender, you could you could get that. Um, additional kitchen rags, they're right here. You have you should have a couple every rental. Um, we also have dinette bed sheets, so this would be this turns into a bed. So you have separate bed sheets for this if you wanna um, if you have small children and you wanna um, use this. And then you also have sofa bed sheets. These are cleaned with every rental. The white sheets. I'll show you where the blankets and pillows are later. Okay. Okay. Now, these two seats in the um, dinette have storage underneath. This will be more of your household um, section. It has, um, you have your, your vacuum cleaner, um, you have a bucket that's collapsible, you have your broom, um, there's a mop, um, you have your extra um, toilet paper, um, things that are for maintaining the RV, you'll find in there, okay? your extra pillows for the sofa and dinette and um, your blankets, okay? So if you need to use them, that's where you'll find them. They get cleaned with every rental. The dinette has um, it has seat belts and also the sofa. So you'll find them here. You can put the straps underneath the back seat and you should be able to use it. Okay. 
These are the rugs. We're gonna install them usually right before you come in. Um, they're very light colored, so we don't want them to get dirty. Okay, this turns like that into a bed. Same thing with the um, with the straps. You put them, you know, if, you, if you're gonna use it as a bed, you're gonna put the straps down. You're not gonna um, use it. There is a fan that we're gonna include for the inside. That way, you know, it gets really hot. Um, it's the middle of summer, so um, this is very comfortable to have. Okay, as for the kitchen, all of your small kitchen appliances are gonna be here. You have your knives, which obviously if you're on the road, please keep it inside. You have a mocha pot, coffee machine, you have a toaster, and you also have a small blender back there, okay? While you're traveling, please keep everything inside of the compartment. As for your um, eating utensils, you're gonna, you're gonna find them right there. Extra um, trash bags, parchment paper, the large bags are for outside, anything you might need. Um, these are your marshmallow roasting sticks. They're collapsible and very convenient. Um, and some other cooking utensils. So everything is there. Um, here you're gonna find your pans, a strainer, cutting board. What I like to do with the cutting board is when I get to the site, I like to put it on the counter so that it's very convenient and I just leave it there until we leave. Now you have to pull everything out before you're gonna use it every time. These are your pots. You have smaller, larger, and your kettle. Okay, microwave, I already showed you this section here. You have your light, exhaust, and then to use your kitchen, you're gonna pull this back. This is your spark button, so you wanna make sure that you turn this to light, and then you light it, okay? Remember to turn it off, and when you're not using it, just put it here. Okay, so this is your sink area uh, filter. We change it every three months, so you're fine. We drink from um, this since we have double um, filters. We have one outside and then this one here. Um, we're always gonna have refill the, your dish soap, so you can actually use from this. Um, this is for your convenience as well. You can take it out if you're not gonna use it. It's just very comfortable since the area is not that big. As for all your, you have your mugs, your bowls, plates, um, and then you have some uh, containers, some smaller containers, larger containers. I do have a couple of kits, so these are very handy. I like to ha have these. You have your glasses, couple of um, wine glasses, and then you have your uh, couple of Yetis as well for a coffee. Okay, down here, you have your trash and then in this section there's a couple of compartments ziplock bags sandwich bags and then this is more of a laundry section um, some miscellaneous items okay this is the full fridge as you can see we like to keep it clean this is the freezer now you want to make sure that this is on automatic mode you see the a and now it's showing you electric when you have it on automatic it's automatically going to know whether you hooked up to electrical or if you're not say you're on the road it's going to know that it needs to use gas to be able to keep it cold it does take a while this is not like a regular house fridge so it takes about 24 to 48 hours to fully cool but um but it, it does turn on while you're on the road if you have the gas on um, this is your pantry so you have plenty of storage top and bottom okay 
This has a slide. I'm gonna show you here for extra privacy. You can close it. Now, I didn't show you, but the front bunk, two people can sleep very comfortably. Uh, a couple of children can sleep here. Um, sofa as well, it's kind of short. So um, for adults, I don't think it will be very comfortable. And then we have the two bunks top bunk bottom bunk now i do have small children so that's why we have the rails um i'm sorry if, if you have teenagers and they don't find it comfortable but for now we're gonna keep it on for our babies um, and their safety um to be able to basically open them there's two latches we're just gonna push up and then they fold down okay that's that the curtains for privacy um there are two drawers that come the box. So you'll find those two. As for the bathroom, you have hooks for the towels right there, and you have hooks on the outside, hooks on the inside. Okay, that is the bathroom. We're always going to include three hand towels. Um, they're white. Everything that has to do with the bathroom, um, it's going to be white. Um, you have extra toilet paper, and that is for moisture. We want to make sure that we keep mold away from the RV. Um, we're always going to include a small rug. It, it's very comfortable for the bathroom. And you have some cleaning supplies down here. Anything you might need, you can use. Okay? If you're going to dump, I'm going to ask a favor. After you dump your black water tank, please drop one of these in the toilet and flush. Okay, you're going to hold 20 seconds with the um, foot on the pedal and to allow some water to go in the tank. And this will help uh, with odors and keep the tank clean. Okay. We're always going to provide um, hand soap. You have here some other items, um, toothbrush holder. There's a couple of hooks there that you can um, use. There is a fan um, in the bathroom. Just remember, please do not, this is how you open the top. Please do not leave it open. If it rains, water will get inside. So you always wanna leave it closed. It also makes the RV very hot. That is why we have this. Okay, you have your shower right there. All set. Okay, next on, we're going to move to the bedroom. Towels are going to be right here. This RV sleeps eight people, so you'll find that we have eight uh, white bath towels, four in each basket, and also eight beach towels, which are different. They're, they're white and blue. The bath towels are plain white. Okay. Those are your towel compartments. Um, you have some outlets here for charging phones please bring your chargers as for the closet it's a large closet it is kind of hard this is by design so that it, the doors do not open uh, while the RV is moving um, you have some hangers a laundry basket some laundry bags these are very comfortable if you are at a campground that has laundry you can take the, um, your laundry and do your laundry before you leave um, and then an ironing board there is one more basket in that compartment and it has the iron so if you need to iron for some reason you'll find it there okay there's large drawers down here same as here these are all drawers there is one drawer that's occupied and there's a reason for it. We like to keep our games here. You're more than welcome to use it. There's Jenga, Parcheesi, there's, you name it, you'll find it there. You can obviously use it. 
um, it will help make your stay more fun there's also an extra TV here that you can use it has a TV and a DVD player in the back okay controller you're usually gonna find in the first compartment here okay so that is it for the inside uh, we're gonna add another video of how to um, essentially hook up your jacks and level your RV and also we're going to show you what's in the compartment outside.